How's it going, Green Dreamers? We're back at you with another video. Guess what I'm doing today? I'm actually going to try and get these two inverters talking to each other. What? I know. I'm a little nervous about it. I've read a little bit uh, on how to do this, so I think I may know how it works. But we're gonna, I'm going to just give it a shot, hook, start hooking things up, and see if I can't get these two talking to each other. That way I can finally utilize both inverters in the system. Now the key component is going to be this little com box. So I ordered this the other day, finally came, and this should help. So eventually I want to have this hooked up to the charge controller and also then strung between the two inverters and that way I can kind of get a whole system overview. This little com box should not only get these two inverters talking to each other, but it also should let me kind of view and monitor the system and how it's performing. So this is going to be a very helpful little tool. So first up I got these network cables. I picked one up. Uh, one also came with the com box. So I'm going to hook these up uh, between the Zanvis uh, networks, hook it up to the com box and we'll see if that lets it start running. All right, how's it going? <laughs> so if you could see, um, this inverter has little ports here on the side. It's got one, it's got a couple for the Zambis, a couple for stacking, uh, REM and BTS. I have no idea what that means. I'll be honest with you. But I'm gonna link these actually up. I'm gonna link these two up here up with the Zambis connectors. I'm going to put one over here, then connect it to the other side over there. Now that i got them both connected, I'm also going to run one network cable here from the Zambus connector here. Actually, I think I'm going to do it from the other one. All right, now I'm going to plug this into the com box, and it's working. Looks like it's lighting up. That's good. That's good news. Now I'm going to bring out the computer and see if I can't get these things hooked up. All right, now I brought out a uh, USB connector. I'm going to try and connect this uh, to my computer and to the com box. I'm hoping that'll allow the two to communicate like that. I'm also going to turn on my uh, hotspot just in case my computer needs to be able to connect to the internet. I don't know if it can just download a driver automatically, but we're going to get that good to go. All right, so now I got my computer open. I'm going to connect these. My internet connection is... Internet's connected. Plug this in. See what happens. I'm not seeing anything yet, so I'm gonna try and pull up and see if I can't find this in the devices. Yeah. So I pull it up in the devices. It says the driver is not available. So I might have to pull that information right off the com box. What I have with me is a removable, is a little flash drive. I'm gonna plug that in there and see if I can get the information I need. Okay, now. What they suggest doing then is plugging in the USB and then you're supposed to wait for a number of flashes. Once those flashes are complete, you can then remove the USB, plug that into the computer, and that should get that information necessary. I think that's it. Let's go back down there. All right, cool. So now I got my stick. I'm gonna place it in here. And then I'm gonna see what's up. First, I'm going to place my little attachment. That'll give me extra USB options. All right, now that I got the system information up on the computer, I am going to hit connect. All right, I think I've run into a little snag. I think that that's going to be needed to be connected to the internet. And I think I'm going to need another cord to connect from the area network here over to there. I think it's going to need to be hardwired. I was just kind of hoping that uh, that would work with the USB connection, but apparently that's not working. All right, so I got another cord. I'm hoping once I connect this to the Ethernet port, connect that to the computer, then maybe it'll share internet access. Cross your fingers. Okay, I wasn't sure when I started this, but it looks like I'm going to have this whole kind of crazy little setup just to, uh, just to get things running here. Okay, this is probably the first time I've actually used the Surface Deck with the Surface Book, but I think I'm gonna need it in order to get this attachment working. All right, so we got that going. We got that. Okay, I think we're connected up now. I'm gonna give this a shot again. All right, everyone, I'm back with you. Today is a new day. 
Never mind the little fuzzies, ignore that. All right, so I did it. Both inverters are now running together. This allows us for greater output. It allows for system redundancy. If one inverter goes down, I always have a backup inverter. That's gonna be awesome. It was not easy getting here, let me tell you. <laughs> I had to call up tech support a couple times in order to get this going, but uh, I got it. Um, <clears throat> so one issue is that my computer does not have an ethernet port. I need to connect a external adapter to my computer to get an ethernet port in there. So in order for me to connect the comm box to the internet, I need to put on my hotspot on my phone connect the computer to the hotspot, then connect the external ethernet port to my computer, and that ethernet port also have its own power supply. So when I started messing with the settings on here, it basically cut the power. I couldn't use the solar system to the trailers, and that's how I was powering the external power supply for the ethernet cord. I'm thinking, oh my God, I can't complete this because I can't connect the comm box to the internet. And I was thinking, I gotta find someone with a computer with an ethernet port that I can bring in here that doesn't need to be connected to like, you know, uh, someone's laptop. But then I'm thinking, you know what? I still got my generator. <laughs> Luckily, I still had the generator. So I fired up the generator, plugged in the power supply. I got the internet background running for the comm box. Whew. But that wasn't it. That's still not over yet. So once I did that, I actually could not there was a fault that couldn't clear on the inverters. When I was talking to tech support, they're like, uh, that's like a really old version of firmware you're running. We're gonna need to, uh, we're gonna need to upgrade those. I'm like, okay. So uh, I started the upgrades and I started freaking out because some of the things were shutting down. Everything went into standby mode that wasn't being upgraded. And uh, I thought I had broke one of the inverters. I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? Because it wasn't doing anything. And then the other one was just like humming real loudly. It was like working really hard. I'm like, should it, should it be doing that? And they're like, no, shouldn't be doing anything. It's upgrading. So I'm like, in my mind, I'm blown. I'm like, what? Luckily, I was able to kind of go in there. I was able to restart the upgrade. So I got, let me take you inside, show you what's going on. In order to get these working together, I had to rename these. So now this is inverter one, and it is the master. This is now inverter two, and it is the slave. So once I got this upgraded, and I got done freaking out because it was working, this one was shut down. Luckily when I plugged it back in, I was able to see it again, then I upgraded that. Once those were upgraded, that fault cleared, and then I made sure that the settings were correct, so Again, I changed the name on that, and it is the master. I changed the name on that. It's the slave. I also changed that to search mode, and then I was able to power it up, and now we are running on both inverters. I got the uh, the breakers both on, and everything's powered up, running really smooth. So I did it. <laughs> I got it. Again, uh, man, I was just freaking out because, I mean, they're both running now. But let me tell you, it was touch and go, especially when I started to change those settings and then it killed the power. I'm like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Luckily, I'm thinking, oh, the generator. That saved my, that saved my butt. <laughs> so that's it. The system is pretty well fully functional now. Both inverters are running and uh, we should be good. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching everyone. Please give this video a thumbs up. Ah. It really helps out the channel a lot, let me tell you. I appreciate your support, thank you. If you haven't yet, definitely subscribe. So much going on. You definitely gotta see what's going on out here. Things are getting more exciting. Leave a comment below, we wanna hear what you have to say. Even just be like, oh man, why are you freaking out, man? That's the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot for watching everyone. Catch you on the next video. Bye.